oppress all of us, okay? It's not just limited to immigrants or outsiders or people around the world. This is an issue because this administration and our government is oppressing all of us. So, it's important that we are standing up for these families, for these children. Right now, there are so many children who are being separated and their parents don't know where they are. I have serious doubts as to whether they're even keeping track of the identity of these kids and families. We've heard that they're having a difficult time reuniting the children with their parents. Why would that be? I think that they're not even keeping track of the identities of the kids. They're not putting ID bracelets on them. On the radio, I've been hearing them say that we're having a difficult time reuniting some of these children with their parents because they're too young to talk and they're too young to tell us who their parents are. Well, yes, that's a huge problem. Why aren't they keeping track of the identities of these kids in the first place? There's no intention to actually return them to their families. And it's gonna be very difficult for that to happen. Right now, I work as a criminal defense attorney and a guardian ad litem. I work with families and children. And I see the pain of the foster care system and parents and children who are separated from each other. Right here, where they actually know who the parents are. These kids are being kept these immigrant kids are being kept basically in concentration camps. They're not being kept in humane, uh, in humane housing. They've built tent cities to keep some of the older children, and they're not identifying the babies and the toddlers who can't speak for themselves. Not all the children are getting lawyers. I'm, a, I'm actually an attorney for children. I represent children in American courts, in juvenile court, they appoint a guardian for every child who's in the juvenile court system or who's in an abuse and neglect type situation. If they're saying that they need to take custody of these children because their parents are criminals, they're not following the process that they would for children in children's services, custody. They're not doing the very basics of what they need to do to care for these children or to give them due process of law. So this is something that as Americans, we should all be concerned about. What is happening to our system? Maybe it's functioning as it's supposed to, cynically, but really we have a lot to be concerned about here, okay? So it's important that we're here today. It's important that we stand up in solidarity and let our voices be heard, that we stand up for not only our fellow Americans, but those who are trying to come here and seek refuge and asylum. I want to say that as an attorney, I've actually studied immigration law, and there is a process for people to come and seek asylum. and. Even though many families are following this legal process because they're in fear because of domestic violence or gang violence and legally, traditionally in American immigration law, there's been a process for people to come and seek asylum. They're still treating these individuals as criminals themselves, <laughs> acting as if they're not following the legal process that we've set up to this point and separating them from their families just to inflict emotional pain and suffering to punish them and deter them from coming. It's not going to deter them when they're coming from a, a violent area, when they're coming here to seek refuge, when they're coming here because American policies have created the conditions in their countries in the first place that lead them to seek asylum here. So I have a lot of criticism. I don't know if I have a lot of answers, but we need to find those answers. We need to make sure that our voices are being heard, that we're giving support to the people in our community 
there are mothers and people here seeking asylum in churches that it's important that we support here locally. And it's, it's important to be active on these issues in social media, on the news, gathering together, talking, and seeing how we can support our neighbors and our would-be neighbors. Okay. We can't turn a blind eye to what's happening here because we're all human. We all come from our own unique set of circumstances. We all have things that are different about us. And as Leo was saying, he's worried about his mother. You know, people are worried about their families, even if they're well adapted into American culture and feel that they're American. Um, so everybody, we all have something about us. And if we allow a fascist regime to discriminate and oppress some of us, it's going to come down on all of us. So this collective action is super important. Sticking up for each other in solidarity and making our demands known to abolish ICE. We want the deconstruction of this harmful institution, this oppressive institution. So thanks everybody for being here. No hate, no fear. Immigrants are welcome 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 here, no hate, no fear. Immigrants are 